Previously on Tunnel 9 Free to Play, we took a look at an amazing P.E.K.K.A. farming army to steal Dark Elixir. Today, I'm going to explain my defensive upgrade order and the reasons why. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Joe. Welcome back for episode seven of the Town Hall 9 free to play series. Today, we're gonna get into our much overdue Town Hall 9 defensive upgrade priority list. Wow, that's a lot. In reality, guys, these walls, these level 10 walls would not exist if it wasn't for the 50% reduction event that took place during Town Hall 13's release. More than likely, we would still have Lego walls and we would start working on some of our defenses because this base sucks. <laughs> it really does. It, it really sucks while we still have Town Hall 8 defenses. And I'll show you some examples of that here in a second. So, uh, Queen's back up. The last video was the six P.E.K.K.A. Dark Elixir farming army. 131,000 Dark Elixir in the last day and a half. Oh, I love that army guys. I straight up love it, but we do have our queen up. We're in a clan war We're gonna do some clan war hits I'll talk about those clan war hits after the fact and show you what we did uh, Hopefully we have some success and some successful three-star attacks uh, today's question of the day Unfortunately is not much of a question at all. Thank you savage uh, question of the day Joe You should put your base link in your new videos by the way, keep up the great work. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Uh, but this base is really, it's just a farming base. It's not that good. Here, I'll show you. This base sucks miserably. It's really bad. Uh, it loses to Town Hall 10s. Town Hall 10s will destroy this base. Newer Town Hall 9s, on the other hand, do have a little bit of a hard time. And you'll notice that we have some one stars in here because some of these players do have a really difficult time. I'm going to show you one replay. That way you can get a good idea on what the intent of this base is. So the point of it is to protect the dark elixir and keep everything from the core keep it away from the town hall now i would not recommend this base for trophy pushing and do not use it in clan war so you got a guy here that is trying to to queen walk he's trying to queen walk he's got a level four queen so she does not have her ability yet and he does place the healers in range of that wizard tower that did go down now if that had been a higher level wizard tower those healers would not exist now he did try to open up the wall and this is where the level 10 walls come into play so if you are not upgrading walls this is the reason why you you should because he just caught what that what just happened there is it caused the queen to kick around the outside and go the other way instead of going inside the base like he wanted now he's going to have to deal with this a little bit the queen's caught up on the wall she's going to continue to follow that wall down until she runs out of targets and then she's going to engage the the wall itself now at the same time he's going to bring some valkyries and he love like you guys love the valkyries i know you do like i don't know why like they're good but they're not they're really expensive like if you're farming for dark elixir don't use valkyries like, they're not really the best. Now, if you're trying to push, that's a different story altogether. Uh, but he's going to use a Valkyrie over there in the far corner and uh, try to crack open the wall, having to deal with a Wizard Tower. And you'll notice that our defenses are mostly Town Hall 8 defenses. So we would probably be able to shut this down a lot faster if we had stronger defenses. So, uh, again, let's go ahead and speed this up. That way you can see the intent. The Queen's going to continue on this path. She's really incredibly slow because it's a level 4. But, again, my level 12, she is also still really slow we'll get into that later on in the video but the valkyries are going to go around the bottom side of the base they're never going to make it to the core he does not bring a jump spell he doesn't funnel the base very well and so he will he will eventually run out of time the queen is going to keep walking down she'll never make it to the dark elixir which is over here and the valkyries will die in the bottom side of the base so again farming base only don't use it for clan war do not use it for trophy pushing and let's go ahead and get into our upgrade order okay so we're on our progress base and we're going to go ahead and start out with our number one and two items being the cannons. So we're going to knock out the cannons and the archer towers first. Obviously, I've started this already, and they take about a day and 12 hours from the date of this video. It could change. It could decrease later on with the additional levels being added on later on down the line. But we're going to knock out all the cannons, knock out all the, uh, the archer towers. And then after that, we're going to knock out the traps. So the traps take about a day. Some take two days to upgrade. But we're going to get these all maxed out for Town Hall 9 because they do play a major role bombs play a role versus wall breakers skeleton traps play a role versus queen walks and balloons the uh, seeking air mines will shut down heal uh, queen walks they will also shut down lava hounds so these are all important important traps and they take about a day or two to knock out so make sure you upgrade them we're going to go ahead and knock them out next and then after that we're going to start working into our air defenses they take about three days to upgrade we're going to go ahead and probably put all of them down at the same time it's really not that 
big of a deal. I farm a lot of resources quickly. So if I lose some resources because my air defenses are down, no big deal. It's not that big of a deal. So we're going to put them all down, knock them out and get it over with. We do have to catch this little guy up first and then we'll take him to level seven as well. And then we also are going to knock out our air sweepers. So air sweepers take about two days to upgrade to level five. This little guy right here has multiple days to go, but we're going to get that one knocked out and caught up. So air defenses and air sweepers. And then we're going to knock out our wizard towers. They take about three days. So we're going to knock out all the wizard towers, get them to level seven. Uh, this little guy right here has got to go up two levels, but we'll get him caught up. Not a big deal. And then I think we're going to put our expos down to level two. Now they do go to level three. So we're going to start out by getting them to level two first, and then we'll take them to level three. And then we're going to work our way into our hidden Teslas as well as our mortars. They take four days. They're probably one of the lengthier upgrades, but that's the order that we're going to go from here. Let's go ahead and get into some attacking with the queen wall. Okay. So now that we've talked about our upgrade order, we're back on our regular base. And something that I need you to understand is that your base while under upgrade, you are going to lose. So like it does not matter what base you run. Like you can run this base. You can run a clan war base. You can run a, the best trophy base on the internet. You are still going to lose while your defenses are down. Just be aware of that because some people like seem to think that their base is going to defend no matter what and to be honest with you you cannot stop armies like this the town hall 10 hitting a town hall 9 that's under upgrade you are going to get absolutely destroyed so i need you to understand that and don't freak out like you just have to go through the process you have to upgrade your defenses in order to progress and you're gonna have to take some losses along the way so these are some things that i wish people had told me in the process many years ago and they just didn't but look i mean check it out this guy has got level six pekkas this is a town hall 10 level six pekkas in valkyries level five Valkyries they are going to straight rummage my base with ease there's absolutely nothing I could do whether I had an electro dragon in that in that clan castle it does not matter he can easily just spam my base and steal my loot like it's nothing he's gonna freeze stuff I mean he's got a serious advantage and there's absolutely nothing I can do to defend it even if I, my base was maxed out more than likely he would have been able to do this anyways so anyways we're gonna move on into some queen walking so we've got our queen and we have this very basic army and so we're just gonna mess around a little bit level 12 queen can we walk her and so this might be something that we dabble into a little bit today and we'll pick up again in tomorrow's video but or after a clan war video but let's go ahead and try to find a base rule fast Okay, so let's go ahead and do a little bit of queen walking to finish up this video. And if you don't know how to queen walk, uh, let me know down in the comments below. This is going to be something that we're working on in the upcoming weeks. Now, we do have a level 12 queen. It's not like she's exactly the strongest out there, but we're going to go through simple steps on how to do the queen walk and what it's for. Uh, you know how you can apply it, but this is one of the most important strategies if you really think about it uh, to, to what the higher level players are doing the town hall 10s and 11s and 12s This is where it really begins and a lot of players if you don't know how to queen walk Then you really don't know how to apply it into some of the other strategies later on uh, We're gonna use rage spells to keep her alive Let's send some wizards in there to help out and take care of some defenses to help her out a little bit We got to deal with the uh, Expo sitting there pounding down on her and then we're gonna have to worry about an air to fence here in a second but you'll notice that we are using our troops to clear the path a little bit and make sure that she goes inside the base where we want her to go now we do have to worry about an air defense there so let's go ahead and drop another rage spell because she's only level 12 and it takes a while like she's really really slow let's use it okay king's ability has been used there's some traps we have to worry about some traps now but no she's going to be caught up on this okay let's drop a jump spell there maybe there she goes now she's going to go inside and the only reason that was successful is because there was no other buildings there to inhibit her and keep her from going in deeper to the base let's go ahead and drop these wall breakers and open up these compartments so uh mortars okay queen's going in we got one more raid spell let's try to get the town hall down at least so okay there we go now we do have to worry about the jump spell running out she's going to run out of the jump spell she's going to kick back out on the outside of the base now because that jump spell ran out so this is where upgrading your jump spells and stuff really come into play queen on queen uh, let's go ahead and freeze that queen a little bit there we go and now she's going to continue down on that path now unfortunately she's probably not going to go back inside the base uh, she's going to probably keep going on the outside so now this is kind of where uh, that jump spell being upgraded or you could use earthquake spells to carry her into the town hall's location uh, or use wall breakers to open up so let's try to get rid of some of this stuff here and we can maybe push her into the town hall let's use some wizards let's drop our bowlers and let's try to keep her from going outside maybe she's stuck on a wall let's try to target her or let's try to get her moving no maybe nope 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 maybe 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 nope <laughs> 
All right, down goes there. See, see how we retargeted her? There she goes. Now she's targeting inside the base. So we got rid of all that trash to retarget her and move her back in towards the town hall. We got 37 seconds left. We do have her ability that we do have to hope that we can uh, get her in there. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. There she goes. She's going to target that hidden Tesla. And see, this is just an idea. This is some ideas for you on how to use the queen and how to maneuver her. But we're going to use that ability and get this town hall down. And this is just a fun little army that I use to do some uh, queen charge, uh, dark elixir farming army when I have her available. But we're going to probably put her down after the clan war is over. You notice that we were able to retarget her and move her back in towards the town hall and get the town hall down. So just having a little bit of fun. This is going to be a topic that we're going to be working on a little bit in the upcoming weeks once we get her up past level 15. Uh, and then once we get her to level 30 we're going to be doing a competition so hopefully you're following along with the series and you're not rushing through and moving on to town hall 10 early um there'll be some money involved there or a gift card we we'll never know i'll let you know in the upcoming weeks but if you enjoyed the content today smash that like button subscribe if you haven't done so already and if you need any additional uh, video support click one of those videos over there and we'll see you in the next one guys take care